POLICE AND FEDERAL AUTHORITIES TRY TO HUNT DELGADO DOWN, WE ARE LEARNING MORE ABOUT WHO HE IS AND HIS CRIMINAL PAST. KOAT ACTION 7 NEWS REPORTER MIKE SPRINGER JOINS US NOW WITH THAT PART OF THE STORY. DELGADO HAS A CRIMINAL HISTORY DATING BACK MORE THAN 10 YEARS AND INCLUDES SOME DRUG AND DOMESTIC VIOLENCE CHARGES, BUT HE'S NEVER BEEN ACCUSED OF ANYTHING THIS VIOLENT BEFORE. 46-YEAR-OLD MARCUS DELGADO IS A CONVICTED FELON WITH A CRIMINAL HISTORY DATING BACK MORE THAN A DECADE. THERE IS NOT ANYTHING THAT WOULD LEAD ANY PERSON TO BELIEVE THAT HE WOULD BE A THREAT TO um, ANY PERSON. BUT HE DID BECOME A THREAT FRIDAY WHEN POLICE SAY HE SHOT FOUR WOMEN KILLING ONE OF THEM, HIS EX-GIRLFRIEND ANNA VIHIL. POLICE SAY DELGADO BECAME JEALOUS AFTER ANNA FOUND A NEW BOYFRIEND. Delgado's criminal history begins in 2002 with an arrest for battery upon a household member here in Albuquerque. According to this criminal complaint, Delgado hit his wife Valerie Montoya several times, disfiguring her eye. But Montoya now says that never happened. I was within 15 years. I'm his ex-wife, but he never touched me. Whole time I was married, so. Online court records show the charge would later be dropped. Two years after that, officers pulled Delgado over. And what they found landed him in trouble again. According to this police report, officers found weapons, almost $300 in cash, and more than two and a half pounds of meth in Delgado's car. Online court records show he pleaded guilty to possession with the intent to distribute, a felony. Delgado now faces a long list of new charges, including murder. Police believe Delgado, who was born in Juarez, Mexico, may have left the state. APD is working with the U.S. Marshal Service, the FBI, and Homeland Security to try and track him down, wherever that may be. Back to you. The Department of Corrections tells us Delgado never served any jail time for the drug conviction. He was given probation instead. A man was